I'm Chris Dyer, I'm the CEO of the Arts Council of Brazos Valley, and we go by the Arts Council. So I, I, I guess I'm the primary fundraiser and manager of our strategic plan at the Arts Council. The Arts Council has over a 40 year history of promoting the arts in the Brazos Valley. So our role is really to make the arts accessible to everybody in the Brazos Valley. We, we do a lot of programming, we do a lot of artistic programming with at-risk youth and in the schools. Uh, but we also raise funding for the arts and we serve as the chief advocate with our governmental entities in the Brazos Valley. And so what we do is we garner funding support for the arts and we turn around and we support programs financially with the arts. Uh, just about anything artistic going on that's done by a nonprofit arts organization, we support it, whether it's funding or marketing support or just general awareness about it. I think we, we what we primarily do is we put the arts in your face. We make sure that you're aware of it and we raise awareness about it and uh, we support it and we make sure you don't forget about it. And we promote it to the community, but we also promote it to people who are coming into the community my name is Gabriela Kane. I'm the manager at Seed Gallery in downtown Bryan. So when we were partnered with the, the Arts Council, they held our hand as we um, grew in this community and they helped us su financially support um, to bring in different artists and um, they helped us jury different exhibits and they're a tremendous help in getting us started in this community. My name is Andrew Robler and I am the artistic director of This Is Water Theater. Uh, this Is Water Theater is the first professional theater company in Bryan College Station, which means we are the first local theater that pays every artist that we work with. Uh, we're affiliates of the Arts Council, so we, um, we pay dues to them and participate in activities and organizations that they have, including the Brazos Valley Theatre Collective. We um, provide marketing materials to the Arts Council and uh, collaborate and coordinate with other members of the Arts Council, other affiliates, and uh, generally try and support the Arts Council just as much as they support us. We also get a lot of support from them in terms of connections. Uh, networking is a big thing. Again, the Theater Collective is a, an amazing opportunity for theaters in the Brazos Valley to collaborate, and it wouldn't exist without the Arts Council. Uh, and we, um, they do a lot of joint marketing and promotion on social media, as well as traditional media outlets and in hotels and a lot of other places. And, and they have a lot of expertise about art in Bryan College Station and uh, ways to accomplish new ideas as well as uh, think through new ideas. I am Holly Kozlowski and I am the Marketing and Development Director for the Arts Council. The Arts Council is a very vital um, institute for the Brass Valley. It's kind of sort of the hub for anything arts and culture related to the Brazos Valley. If you want to be an affiliate, um, you have to be a nonprofit organization and um, you pay a membership due to the Arts Council. My name is Ann Black and I'm the Executive Director of MSC Opus. The Arts Council is critical because it brings together all of the different uh, arts organizations and there are many of different kinds, theater and music and dance and other kinds of things, uh, museums and galleries and all of the arts come together under that umbrella. We support each other, uh, we meet regularly and listen to each other uh, concerns and uh, triumphs and tragedies and uh, it's, it's just a great synergy of, of all of the arts coming together. I think art in Bryan College Station is incredibly exciting. I think that uh, I, I look forward to every Thing that I hear about here in town um, from you know uh, student-based productions at the high school and college level all the way up to MSC Opus bringing in touring shows. I think that any piece of art that we bring to this community betters this community and I love experiencing as much of it as I can. The art is really good at 
allowing people to think outside the box. Don't really like that term, but it is very true. Um, you can see a painting or a sculpture, and to one person it may mean something, or they may see something else in it than I would. And so I think that art as a whole lets you imagine what is there and what isn't there, and to kind of see beyond what is seen. I once heard art is anything you can get away with. So for me, my interpretation of art is anything that you can get away with that expresses whatever's on your mind or whatever is your reality. And art is a beautiful way of expressing the things that we can't say with words. Art helps us be more empathetic. Art enables us to tell stories in ways that are sometimes surprising and challenging and that are unexpected. And when we are faced with a story in a way that we don't expect it, it's more difficult to put up our standard defenses against things that we don't understand and things that are new to us. And it teaches us something new about perspectives and people that are different from us, but it also teaches us things about ourselves that maybe we don't realize and the similarities that we share with people that um, are sometimes different from us and sometimes similar to us. So I think empathy is a huge part of what art does and, and is the essence of why it has to be protected.